look at this really, really beautiful slice of stomach. You could see a really nice mucosa, which is this whole blue area along here. You can see a beautifully defined rim of muscularis mucosa, which is this little pink band along here. You can see the looser connective tissue of the submucosa. And last but not least, you can see various smooth muscle bundles. What you don't see in this particular slice are the, is the full thickness of the smooth muscle wall or the uh, serosa, but we've already seen that many times. Let's uh, look at the mucosa. This is a section of the fundus of the stomach. The fundus is a region of the stomach that is very active in acid secretion. We can see that the surface epithelium is not really arranged in a beautiful, well-defined papillary array like the small intestine was, but instead the glands pit down into the mucosa rather than grow up like little fingers. That's why these are called gastric pits. Notice, however, that the surface epithelium uh, is very, very, very mucoid because it is, but then also notice very soon after you get into these gastric pits, you are looking at the acid secreting cells of the stomach or the uh, um, parietal cells all of which look like these little fried eggs with a uh, very orange uh, cytoplasm and a very nice round centrally located nucleus. Otherwise, the cells in this region which do not look like that, the cells here and here and here and definitely here are more mucus type cells and these are the uh, chief cells. So we have chief cells here probably along here, probably along here, maybe a couple in here. And most of these cells here are parietal cells, aren't they? And uh, and the surface, we can see that these cells uh, are uh, mucus secreting as well. So here we are, surface epithelium. Now in the pits, we see these orange parietal cells and the darker chief cells. And now we have a mixture more of chief cells rather than parietal cells, whereas up here we had more parietal cells than chief cells. And here we are again now at the base of the mucosa. We could now see a perfectly well-defined muscularis mucosae of smooth muscle. We could now see loose connective tissue, blood vessels, fat, uh, fibroblasts uh, in the submucosa. And last but not least, as we travel down, we are now looking at the uh, various muscle layers of the wall or the media. And remember, the stomach is not arranged as nicely as the small or large intestine with the inner circular and the outer longitudinal. It has to, do a it has to be a little more fancy than that. So there are usually three layers and they're not going quite as uh, 90 degrees with respect to each other as they are in the small and large bowel. Here's a lot of smooth muscle. Here's some connective tissue between the smooth muscle. Here's some more smooth muscle. And notice when the nuclei look like cigars, you're cutting them longitudinally. When the nuclei look like little round circles, like perhaps here and here and here, you're probably cutting them perfectly uh, uh, 90 degrees with respect to their longitudinal axis. Uh, I don't think I have anything more to say about the stomach. We could take a quick look again and see if we missed anything. But once again, in shotgun histology, you're expected to look at the full field and identify everything. This is all smooth muscle. Here's connective tissue between smooth muscle. Here is loose connective tissue and blood vessels of the submucosa. Here's a large artery. Uh, here's another large artery, perhaps the same one. There's a smaller artery. Uh, here's the mucosa. Here's the muscularis mucosa. Here are the more orange uh, parietal cells. Here's the darker chief cells. And here is the surface mucus epithelium. And I know that this was shotgun properly. You couldn't possibly miss a thing on this. So let's move on and I thank you very much.